after mounting judgment from the governor and New York Attorney General Friday. Bail should have been set on those individuals. It was a serious felony and bail should have been set. Why it was not set, I do not know. Right now, that they should be sitting in Rikers. Manhattan District Attorney Alvin Bragg breaking his silence on last weekend's Times Square cop beatdown and felt pressure to quell outrage by explaining why his office released all but one of the six suspects arrested without bail. The important thing is to hold the right people accountable for the right conduct. This is a bedrock principle of our justice system. NYPD sources believe four of the suspects already skipped town, reportedly hopping a bus to California ahead of their next court date in March. They walk out the door, and then they literally give us the middle finger to, assist, to our city. It's created a bigger debate about bail reform and whether the migrant men seeking asylum should be deported. Governor Hochul not holding back with her frustration over how the case was handled by D.A. Bragg. Both Democrats supported bail reform laws, but now are at odds over this case. So that is also something I want to have a conversation with uh, the district attorney about his, his options here. After that, the two met in the city on Friday, Bragg personally defending the no bail decision to the governor and New Yorkers. This is the beginning of the process. We will go forward to indictments uh, and we will hold those accountable who did these uh, heinous acts. NYPD detectives vowing to scour the globe for the remaining suspects who are at large that attacked two of their own. Meanwhile, the man who was the aggressor in the attack, according to Bragg, is still locked up on Rikers.